Good morning, Calvary. When it comes to how we talk, have you ever noticed how we follow the example of those around us? I grew up in the Southwest, and so I grew up calling every type of soda Coke. But when I moved to the Midwest, I quickly picked up on the habit of saying pop. Now, I happen to think that that is the best word, so I'm gonna stick with it. And that is the power of an example. An example can change your lifelong habits. Take a look with me at 1 Peter 2, 21 through 23. Now I'm gonna read this out of the New Living Translation. It says this, for God called you to do good, even if it means suffering, just as Christ suffered for you. He is your example, and you must follow in his steps. He never sinned, nor ever deceived anyone. He did not retaliate when he was insulted, nor threaten revenge when he suffered. He left his case in the hands of God, who always judges fairly. In this passage, we are told that Jesus is our example. We are to follow in his footsteps, especially when we encounter suffering. I think that following Jesus' example seems like a nice, happy idea. But when you tack on that idea of suffering, I'm no longer so excited about the prospect. My typical reaction to suffering is to complain. Often when I'm suffering, I want to assign blame. Whose fault is it that I got sick? Who ruined my day? Who caused the project to fail? But if Jesus is my example, I'll be cautious about how I talk in the midst of suffering. Look how Jesus handled his speech. It says that he didn't deceive anyone. This means that when he suffered, it wasn't his fault. No blame could be assigned to him. He was always perfectly honest. And that's our example. Following his steps means that we walk a path of honesty. He didn't retaliate when people insulted him. During his ministry and during his crucifixion, he was often insulted. However, he didn't retaliate. He didn't dish out what was given to him. He extended grace and truth and kindness. And those words should describe our speech as well. And finally, Jesus didn't threaten revenge. Jesus had all the armies of heaven at his disposal, but he didn't use that power to get revenge or even justice. He extended forgiveness. He trusted God throughout his suffering. Jesus is our example of speech. We need to follow his steps. This means no lying, no retaliation, no threats. What suffering are you facing today? Is it tempting you to speech that would dishonor Jesus? Let's look again at his example and follow it. Keep his example right in front of you. Think about it often so that you can walk in his steps. Thanks for taking a few minutes with me today, and I hope you were encouraged.